game. Eat your hot dogs, right? Alright, so now... Yeah, I'm pretty much back at the place where I was in my game. That's the last area that I cleared. So... Was Spectre Knight? Oh man, you haven't reached the best part of Shovel Knight yet when you find the Wandering Knights. Oh man. Oh yeah, I found I found a couple of them, yeah. Have you fought the Baz yet? Uh, yeah. Ah, the storm is coming! The storm is coming. <laughs> you better believe it, brother! And he starts fucking buying a commandoing across the place. It's kind of weird how that was a rejected Street Fighter 2 uh, character. Say this is probably my second favorite stage theme. Yeah, uh, Explodatorium's great. And it's just a great name. Yeah, you got other places like you got the Pride More Keep, you got the Lich Yard, you got all this Explodatorium. Explodatorium's amazing. Yeah, hey, we'll load up the Arrange soundtrack right now because I want to listen to Explodatorium. It's got an awesome name for it too. It's called Flowers of Antimony. Oh yeah, that's the original name. The uh, remix name is called The Science Wizard. Oh, The Science Wizard. Is that the boss theme? No, that's the, uh, that's the stage theme. Okay, oh, that's right, Vital Vitriol, that's boss uh, theme. No. I didn't want my carrot to go in the fire. Well, you see, he's just got a burning passion to save Shield Knight. It's all symbolism. Also, fuck this bird. I hate this bird so much. You can reflect his vials. It actually makes it a lot easier. It's the rats on this fucking elevator that ruin yeah, me. Yeah, these are the things that are annoying. The bird in later parts gets annoying, though. When he starts destroying parts of the stage. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fucking two best friends play. That's such a weird thing. We've entered an era where people can make money off videos from video games, then use that money to fund video games. <laughs> it's a nice little cycle. What a time to be alive. Fucking economy is weird, man. This war economy. Who said the two best friends are the hated? Because I think they're pretty cool guys. Yeah, I think yeah, for the I most like part. Them. Weren't they on Rich Super at one point? Wooly was. Wooly and Pat. So Pat, 204. Yeah, Pat did a podcast, one of the podcasts. Yeah, they're, they're fine to me. I I like them a lot, but I can see why some people don't like them. They're not, they're not like efficient. They're just here, there to be hype. Uh, I watched the I Have No Mouth and I'm a Screenplay for you. That was pretty good. Yeah, like, Wooly knew everything about the game. Pat is a, like, he has a... Masters in Psychology, I think? So that was just like the best thing to see out of uh, I Have No Mouth. Yeah, look at this fucking science. Yeah, this is fucking, this is Mega Man as shit right here. Yeah, you got, yeah. You got Gemini Man's colors and Burst Man's uh, giant fucking beakers. Like, this is Gemini Man as hell. By the way, there's a secret wall here. Hit the right. Uh, oops. Mm. Too late. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I hate no. Twitch. Kill yourself and do it again. <laughs> it's worth it. Yeah, it really is. By the way, there's a secret room in that uh, room. Ah, shit. I hate yeah, that <laughs> that's what I was screaming. Spider. I hate that pot. The spider pot can go to hell. Yeah, I was looking at that. How'd you have trouble with that? Because you could just reflect the bullets back, and I was able to like breathe damage. The other one is immortal. Ah, no, I missed the, the note thingy. Um, you could respawn the dude and bounce on him to get it. That's how I always get it. I just get the, uh, I just get the potion thrower and bounce on him. Oh, I just oh, noticed yeah, it's the 4th of July. What was that? I just noticed it's the 4th of July. Um, third in where America I where it counts. Yeah, I... I I usually say it with, um, irony, but it only really counts in America. True. 
in Canada had their fireworks day like two days ago. As an Englishman, I am not pleased with the 4th of July. <laughs> well, you just have to fucking deal with it with your tea and crumpets. Maybe I will. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's right. This night always wrecks my shit. Uh, you have not done Mole Man stage, so you don't have the ability. Mole Knight! Fuck. I said Mole Man. Mole Man! I'm sorry, that's Mole Bot. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Uh, Smite has a neat trick with this where he just kind of jumps enough to trick the knight into pulling his shield up and then you can slash him. Ugh. Did any of that get through? Because I don't know if I pressed push to talk or not. No, I heard it. It did. Okay. Little trick. Or did it? Uh, right now, I'm pretty much on automatic pilot. This goddamn like scurvy. Yeah. Enemies. Fuck those torches, man. Ah no! I died right next to an apple. Into the pit of victory. Oh, I guess not. Oh, you died to the burner, didn't you? Here, here comes the freaking... not scarfy. Oh, the giant maw got you. Yeah, I actually have no uh, care for the 4th of July either because I live in California and explosives are expressly forbidden. All explosives? Um, you could do you could do fountains. That's the only firework you could have in California. Well, in Central California, nor in SoCal can blow stuff up. Fires. Wow. Thanks, Obama. Well, it makes sense because Central Cali is very dry, so it's prone to wildfires. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right, those frickin' uh, those slime knights. Yeah, the knight's so lame they couldn't make it a boss. They're clones. Got some umbrella shit going down here. How do you know which walls you can shovel open? Uh, some have distinct traits, but others are actually kinda hidden. Some you just have to guess. It's just like Dark Souls! Yeah, Dark Souls. <laughs> it's, it's a game, Dark Souls. Invisible walls! I know it! My senses nice. of Dark Souls are ta- OH MY FUCKING GOD! <laughs> you well, shit okay. knight! You freaking puke knight of shit. I gotta see this. Yeah, the rejected, <laughs> yes! rejected yes! boss idea. The puke knight of shit. Which should be the puke butt of shit, which ugh, I don't wanna fight that. The puke butt of butt. The puke butt of butt. Is Jay oh, up wow. in here? Or am I going crazy? No. Oh somebody said they never heard Chi up that loud, so I was wondering what? Oh, they're attack they're talking about disaster LP, never mind. Ah uh, oh, no! <laughs> Did the puke butt of shit get you again? Why didn't I use my freaking invinci invincibility here? Pit of victory claims too. Oh my. That's like five grand out to the ether. Actually yeah, no, only one thousand. Yeah, that's what's gonna get you most in this game. It's not gonna be enemies or anything like that, not even bosses. It's gonna be mostly pits. Wait, is there something up here? So Beef is now playing more shmuffs. Alright. Alright, who is laughing now, motherfucker? 
clearly Plague Knight. He's just sitting there sipping on his Plague Juice like, eh, <laughs> I installed pits. I know he can't wear sunglasses, but I like to imagine him wearing sunglasses. Who, Plague Knight? Plague Knight, yeah. Plague Knight's a pretty cool guy. He's, he's just my a, favorite. My favorite. He's just a wizard. Design. All he is is a wizard, and you've got the title of Knight. That's so weird. Yep. He doesn't care. Call me Knight. <laughs> this is some funny as shit. I'm a Knight. Oh, yeah, Plague Knight. He, I remember him being kind of hard. He's unpredictable. Show I... yourself, Plague Butt. <laughs> Plague of butts. Just a swarm of them. I do like how he has a plague doctor mask. That's probably my favorite part of this design. It just makes him kind of look cool. He's like the goofiest of the knights, and he's also the most dangerous because of shit like this. This is actually also the one boss that Chaos Orb is not good against. I don't know. So far, I'm hitting him with most of my projectiles. By projectiles, you mean shovel. Oh wow, you actually clipped him. Huh. There we go. Chaos orbs are useless. I love chaos orbs. When he goes fucking crazy. Yeah, you need something that is as crazy as it is. Yeah, this dude and the last level are what I like to call anti-LP technology, because they fuck with encoding. I do like the campfire scenes in this game. Like, they didn't need to be in this game, but man, they look cool. They do. Oh. You have a visitor. I'm sorry, what? Oh yeah, the travel. Oh hey, it's it's anime night. Yep. Anime night. This dude was in Valda's story as well, and he's as much of a tosser in that game as in this one. <laughs> the butt with a butt was been menacing the village. Gonna use that butt to bury innocent people. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna bury him when shit. That was my intention. Oh god, I hate this guy so much. <laughs> He's such an asshole, yet he has the coolest scarf. With the powers of anime, I will send boomerangs in your face. Yeah, every other, uh... Every other deal, um... Contributor... Boss is pretty cool. This guy feels... Wickedly out of place. Mm-hmm. Like, even, um... What was his name? Phantom Striker, another character that was in Valda's story, is in this game, and he looks suited, more suited for this than, uh... our boy Boomerangs here. Yeah, he really did. Because this guy... feels like he's from a completely different game, because, well... Like, I'm even shocked that they made Zubaz look good enough to be in a... In a uh, medieval setting. Because have you guys seen the original like design for Zubaz? No. Mm -hmm. He looks like a fucking. He looks like a kiss knockoff. He really does. And in um, in Shovel Knight, well, you guys will see. Oh, I've seen. He's fun. <laughs> oh my god, we have the most inspirational quote of the entire game here. Butts are strongest when they work together. <laughs> well, it is when true. You, when you I rub them together, they're do. strong. I feel like that should be screen capped. <laughs> <laughs> Done, I'm tweeting this. Knock him down, butt butt. Alright. Finally have the other village.
So who's up next? Are we going Mole Knight or are we going Treasure Knight? We need We're to fight Treasure Knight. Oh yeah, um, you're at the place, so choose. Do you want charge attack all the time or charge attack when you do two drop attacks? Yeah, I'm gonna see what I have. A nice butt blade you have. <laughs> <laughs> We really are five. <laughs> so is this game, it lets us do this. <laughs> hey, don't lump me in the same category as you guys. The buttsmith. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I'm a grey butt. Oh, you got dynamo armor? Yeah. Now, go back to the first village, find Hoop Girl, use it. You can go up the ladder to the uh, left and just There is no catapult. ladder there yet. Oh, there isn't? Okay. It doesn't appear until you get to, uh, fate to, like, the third half of the game. The third oh. third of the game. Oh yeah, the Toadur. I wish someone could cheer me up. I'll give it a shot. Oh, fuck um, this guy. I spent uh, an hour trying to exhaust his puns. I didn't. Yep. Why will they just leave the catapult unattended? The operator is out to lunch! I believe if you listen to every pun he has, he gives you an achievement. No, that's the one in the, the first town. Ones. This dude literally has oh. limitless jokes, and I was... I almost died inside because of it. Because you think it's gonna end, but it never does. There you are, shovel butt. Gonna fight Hat Knight? Yep. Mr. Hat, my bad. <sighs> I would like to get this, but after the Steam sales. I got this even despite Steam sales, because oh, yeah. I'm bad with money. It was during the Steam sale, I didn't give a shit, I'll drop 15 bucks. <laughs> By the way, this guy has the best boss intro. Uh, I'd rather wait for the 3DS version. I really wish you got rid of those um, Steam notifications, Psych, because we really need to see this guy's animation. Here's some Uroboro shit. He manifests hats into a helmet and then turns his cane into a broadsword. They're probably my favorite um, DLC character of all time. Well, Contributor character of all time. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. I liked him. He was probably my favorite. By the way, game. when you beat him, Psych, you can find him up to yeah. three more times. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wear it in good butt for now. It's weird. I was expecting a South Park joke with this guy. I was pleasantly disappointed. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Yes, he really is a Team Fortress 2 boss. Is he? No. Hats, you see. Oh, right, right. I thought it was something else alongside it. Um, I don't know quite if Drop Shot is all that good. I mean, it's good for one specific boss. Yeah, uh, there's a new item, or a new relic at the guy that you missed in the alchemy lab. Oh, yeah. Mm, I mean, I guess you could get it, but it's only really good when you get it in the alchemy dungeon. Mm -hmm. It's not very good, I'm just saying there's another one. It's more. also one of the two items that does a full circle of damage, the other being the shovel. Or the, uh... <laughs> the anchor! Which I mean, no, just, not, not the anchor, the fishing pole. Yeah. Holy god. The fishing pole does a full circle of damage twice, but you have to wait for it. But you have to use the fishing pole. Yeah. <laughs> oh hey, we've got company. 